Okay. I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. He might also be totally pissed about Damon's money. I've got to get this exactly right. I can do this. Price. Oh, Frank. Eager much? Where's the money? So, uh, the situation was a lot more complicated than you told me. What are you talking about? I promise I can explain. I... I have a favor to ask you first. You can't be fucking serious. I need to find that woman who was in your RV yesterday. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I would really appreciate it. I'm your favorite client, remember? I'll be in the junkyard in two hours. <sighs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real... That went well, I guess. What am I getting myself into? Okay, I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. Is mom playing music? Hmm. Huh. David's towel? Where the hell is mine? Okay, my towel's probably in here somewhere. I should just calmly look for it. Rose. Lots of washcloths. No towel. Maybe mom threw my towel in here. Some pirate towel. <sighs> Score. Can't believe Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate. We never cut around to it. 
ready for the best shower of my life. What do I feel like wearing on this crazy ass day? All right, one last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. Here goes. What are the chances I can avoid mom or David? <laughs> I'm flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet, I told you. Three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> you know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. Hey, who's there? Hey. Chloe, your hair. When did you... Was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did, but this is, uh, is something different. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. I'm also glad you came home, Chloe.
I'm... I'm not staying long. Just... <laughs> picking up some stuff. Oh. Are you... coming home tonight? Mom... I... I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. Don't worry about me, okay? I... I can take care of myself. Well, will you at least tell me where you're staying? I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. It won't take but a minute. Mom. Chloe. I, uh... I don't have time for this. Now, hold on a minute. Please. I... owe you an apology. Let's hear it. <sighs> Chloe, I should not have asked you to empty your pockets yesterday. I was, uh, out of line, and I'm sorry. Okay. Apology accepted. Really? Yeah. Good job. And good job, Mom, for twisting his arm or whatever. Chloe. What? It's great. He listens to you. Can we be done now? Wait. One second. Don't go, Chloe. I've been... meaning to show you something. Maybe... maybe now's a good time. This... is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Becker was killed near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were going to get into once we got back home. But he died. He died and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Uh, think about what I've said. person I would ever talk to about my dad is you Chloe think it over for more than a, a minute it's a basic courtesy you know when people offer to help you're out of your fucking mind you disrespectful little shit you just made a serious hey, mistake. Both of you. You don't scare me, asshole.
What the hell? Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. Holy crap. This might actually be helpful for fixing up the truck. with me here. salvage this beast. I just need to find the right tool for each problem. It's not like I need a manual, but I'm really glad it's here. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. This connection is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. This thing is going to the fuck up. Maybe. <gasps> Sick. Looks like someone tried to punch this thing up sometime before I was born. At this point, I think that ancient duct tape is better than anything I can do. Hi, fans. Better leave it be. I understand you work as a security guard at Blackwell Academy. Is that true? I used to. I uh. Hmm. What do I see? Hold on to your horses, folks. Skip Matthews and this head is traded in. I know. If you haven't heard these guys yet, what I want you to do is crank that stereo up as loud as it goes. If anyone complains, what do you tell them, Skip? Uh, this had rules? Nailed it. It's 
pretty loose. How can I tighten it? <sighs> Much better. This thing seems pretty gunked up. I think I should move on to something else. Nothing doing. Nothing doing. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. Nope. Not gonna help. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. There. Fits like a deadly electric glove. That should help keep shit distributed. Well, fuck. Go back from whence you came. Spark plugs busted. Carbon deposits. Oh, of course. Please, I need you. Junkyard Queen, where are you at? Hey. Holy shit. Your hair. It's so... <laughs> Badass. <laughs> I was gonna say hot. But, yeah. 
badass too? Hey, not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out? Hey, Price. Nice wheels. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? What do you think? We're not dealing with a couple of dime bags anymore, Chloe. Where's the money? For fuck's sake, the money wasn't there. What do you want from me? I don't think she has it. Oh? It's cute how she acts like you two are friends. You heard what happened to Drew, right? Maybe try keeping that in mind when you talk to me. Don't fucking touch her. Why is it? That chicks think it's okay to hit me. But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly it's a whole other thing. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? Yeah, it's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't? Huh. Maybe I'll show you. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you, but he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay, then let's talk. I want to know right now why you give a shit about this woman. Why do you care so much? Because... fuck you. I'm asking the questions here. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Tell me where she is. Now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. What the fuck is your Rachel? As in Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon, your dad's a real piece of shit, you know. So? We don't have anything to do with him. Right. Here's what happens next. Come on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. 
And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. Uh! Ah! Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? I don't, I don't know. Everything happened so fast. Do you know who Damon Merrick is? Or why he hates you? I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe. But I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us, since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? He asked us why we were so interested in Sarah. And what did you say? No, nothing of course. Is that how it became violent? It was it was actually Rachel who got angry. She was furious that he wouldn't tell her where Sarah was. This is exactly what I've been afraid of. Rachel won't let anything stop her. If 
you let her meet Sarah in the first place, we wouldn't have had to try something more desperate. There are many things I wish I'd handled differently. What happened next? Damon had a knife out. We all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something. But when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream. But I don't know what happened. And then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. I'll see if I can pull some strings with Ray. Maybe get you back into Blackwell. What are you going to do about Damon? Find out if he is alive. First of all, my department's been after him for some time. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have... Um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. Hey, 